How's it going YouTube? My name is Elvin Ninja 7, your resident Miss Weaver monk, and guys, we are going to be talking about every single change coming to Miss Weaver in 10.2. Now strap in because it is a lot. I'll try to be very quick though. So let's go ahead and start off with our tier sets. So we are losing a very powerful tier set with Soulfang Infusion, which would give us a lot of mana back over a, a, an entire fight or in a Mythic Plus dungeon. We're losing Rashok's Trinket. It's getting nerfed pretty hard, and it's just going to be scaled down a lot since we're going into a new tier. So we're losing a lot of mana control, but we still have mana T that's just as powerful. And we also lose these little six second ramps that our Vivifies would do. But you'll see our new tier set is honestly a lot better. It's very strong uh, as long as you don't count mana, as long as you just count through throughput so our renewing mess will be applying a buff to that target which will increase the healing that they receive from us by 50 percent which is insane you can spread a lot of renewing mess across a whole group and this will in turn buff things like invigorating mess just very good throughput from this tier set and then also those chi harmony buffs will store 20 percent of the healing and then at the end of their eight second duration they're going to pop and just heal everyone who has a renewing mess on them spread evenly but that's just the tier set. Let's go and jump into all, all these changes. I mean, it's so much. Like I said, I'll be quick. So starting off, for starters, Jade Serpent Statue, its Soothing Mist healing got increased, but that will be compensated by a nerf to Unison. So Unison actually does receive half value, but since they buffed Soothing Mist, it kind of cancels out in a way. Escape from Reality did see a, a change. Now you can only put one talent into it and you get the full value. But before you basically as a mess, but you got the full value anyways, which is one point from the mana return. The starter build was changed. I haven't even seen it. No one looks at these things, but Rising Sun Kick is now granted by default. This gives us one more point to work with on our class tree since we don't have to waste a point in Rising Sun Kick, which we can kind of use on all the new talent changes that we'll get into later. Rising Sun Kick even got a buff to its damage, which also coupled with the buffs to Tiger Palms damage, Blackout Kicks damage, and Spinning Crane Kicks damage. Those will all buff not just our damage, but our healing through Ancient Teachings and Awakened Feyline. Healing Elixir did get kind of gutted. It's now a passive. It procs when we get to 40 or, or percent or lower health and restores a fifth of our maximum health. So yes, it is pretty gutted, but it couples very well with the new newly buffed Bounce Back, which now reduces damage by up to 40% when we receive 12% of our health and damage and last six seconds. So very strong passive defensive talent that we can take that couples well whenever we take a big slam, we'll get a Healing Elixir proc now what takes the place of healing elixir it is actually expel harm believe it or not expel harm if you have not seen just the amount of healing that this can do to yourself now it's insane and then also leads to pretty nice chunky damage too but Ex expel harm is our new button that can like top us up from 10 percent to full if we get lucky have a lot of buffs on ourselves take all the expel harm talents but all in all expel harm is now that button that we can press it's not off the global cooldown so it does waste a global cooldown whereas healing elixir in the past you could press while channeling a soothing mist and casting a vivid for example so we do lose efficiency there but it's still just it does so much healing that it, it applies a lot of safety to us when coupled with the new healing elixir and bounce back little combo that we have they also doubled the amount of damage reduction that we take uh, or that we get from calming presence which is just a free talent it's basically free it's an, at the very top of our class tree so we're just passively more tanky once again you couple that with the healing elixir changes the bounce back changes the expel harm changes we're just getting a lot of tank tankiness coming into 10.2 for basically free the only thing that we have to press or change in our rotation if you want to call it that is by swapping healing elixir off of our bars and moving it spell harm back on our bars they're improving our spot healing by a ton so they they've improved the amount of shielding that life cocoon gives they've also buffed our soothing mist which like i said buffing soothing mist and buffing jade serpent statues healing is why they nerfed unison to kind of compensate but they buffed soothing mist they buffed jade serpent statue they buffed enveloping mist and they buffed vivify spot healing so that single target healing of vivify is increased so our spot healing capabilities are super strong right now and uh, give us a lot less global cooldowns to top someone up than we used to have in the past through all three of these spells kind of comboing together and then on top of that invigorating mist which is the cleaving of our renewing mists with our vivifies that did get a massive buff however it's buffed primarily in mythic plus environments where you only have five targets to hit 
or if you don't get like a massive renewing mist ramp out and have 20 renewing mists out and i know 20 is exaggerating but a lot of renewing mists out you do get a lot less value per target so if you have 15 renewing mists out each of those people are going to be taking less healing from invigorating mist so that does suck but like i said your spot healing your five man spot healing uh capabilities are vastly stronger so very good there misty peaks which is what would apply just random little procs of our enveloping mist uh off of our renewing mist targets it did get nerfed and it's it got cut in half which sucks but it was a pretty strong throughput talent nowadays we kind of just skip it and just use those points on other things <laughs> this one's pretty funny invigorating mist healing visual is now only visible to us i guess with how much invigorating mist was going on if they expected us to be meta this tier and all all you know four healers in a raid environment then they don't want all those green little clouds kind of fogging up the game and and just making it hard to play and, and slowing down the game but all in all that's just a random little change burst of life healing was doubled but this talent is still very bad it's kind of hard to play in around you have to wait for that shield to pop and then it just does healing after that shield pops it's kind of just it's still just a badly designed talent essence font actually got buffed they don't want to push us into playing like an ancient teachings chiji build in raid but they want to make it more viable thus buffing things like rising sun kick and blackout kick and tiger palm but uh buffing essence font is a big part to that build because they do use those essence font hots to double the mastery procs from chi -Gi and just to get a lot of healing out of our essence font and extend the essence font hots by rising mist so essence font did get buffed by 40 percent how much it heals However, it now only applies Essence Font to five targets, so it's buffed. It's just a 40% buff in Mythic Plus, just like how they did Invigorating Mist, but in raid environments, it, it, it yes, it will technically, if you do the math, it'll do about 16% more healing from just pressing the button. However, hitting one less target does uh, kind of reduce the actual value that you get from this change because like I said, you wanna have Essence Font on as many people as possible in that build, in that raid build, so that your mastery procs proc twice on them. So all in all, a nice buff. I do kinda of don't like this. I wish that this said 20% and this just didn't exist but you know what we'll take it we'll take it us mythic plusers will will enjoy this change and then further trying to close that gap between the cloud of focus build and the ancient teachings build we've already talked about them buffing essence font buffing all the spells that ancient teachings actually procs off of and then nerfing the vivify cleaving and things like a raid environment where you get those massive yulon ramps they've actually still even nerfed cloud of focus so cloud of focus it used to stack up to three times when we channel our Soothing Mist and we cast a Vivify, that first Vivify in a Soothing Mist window would receive that first stack of Cloud of Focus buff. So how it would work is we would Soothing Mist and then do a 20% boosted, 20% mana reduced Vivify, and then the next one would be 40% and the next one would be 60. However, now they have nerfed it pretty hard. So it now only gains 15% per stack. That first Cloud of Focus buff uh, isn't applied on that first vivify so you have to cast one unbuffed vivify after channeling a soothing mist and then from there it'll start getting those 15 percent bonuses and then it still only stacks twice so so pretty massive nerfs one to the mana efficiency of cloud of focus and then also just to the healing I and mean, it just does less healing however it still still has a higher ceiling than the other raid builds currently so it's it's it sucks in the mana department, but once again, we're really gonna have to practice our mana T and, and how to efficiently use that button for this next tier. And then on top of that, they've added a couple more changes. They've been really trying to push us a little bit further in Mythic Plus because they know that that's the gateway to get more people to play the, the spec in general. So Ancient Teachings gets a quality of life improvement. This is strictly quality of life. It can convert to more healing. So what it says, Ancient Teachings range is now increased to 40 yards, whereas it was 30 before. So it doesn't buff Ancient Teachings in any way toward their healing. However, if you think about it, there could be a scenario where no one in a 30 yard radius needs healing, but the people that do need healing are in a 40 yard radius. So in a way you could argue this is technically a buff to its healing, but it's not. It doesn't change the numbers that it heals. And then on top of that, Ancient Concordance, which is this talent right here, it no longer needs 
two points, you now get the full value from just putting one point in there. This frees up another talent point. So we're getting a free talent point on all of the, the class tree, and then we're getting a, a free talent point to spend wherever we want on the bottom section of the Mist Weaver tree. So great quality of life there. That's especially good in the Mythic Plus build because we do take Ancient Concordance and Mythic Plus. And then I've already touched on these Unison and Expel Harm changes. Next up is Feline Stomp. So Feline Stomp got basically two and a half, or you're doing 250% of its normal damage. So they buffed it by 150% in damage and it's healing that it itself does. So when you shoot it through an ally, they'll take bonus healing, more healing now, and they'll take uh, any enemies will take more damage. The reason why is it used to just literally be a beacon. We would stand on it and that was where we were grounded to. Just stand on your Feline. Now it still has that. You still want to stand on your Feline, but now it's even worth pressing in our damage rotation to optimize our damage and up to a five man target scenario. Like if you're in a five man cleaving scenario, Feline Stomp is good damage now. So all in all, great change there, buffing our damage even further while also changing up, making the spell more spicy. A lot of people did not like just standing on it and that being it but now it has more viability. And then we've talked about the buffs to these uh, tanky talents, these passive talents that make us tankier. We've talked about Blackout Kit getting 15% more damage, which I wanna mention Blackout Kit cleaves. So this adds a lot of damage and kind of changes the numbers in terms of how much, uh, how, what our target cap is for just spinning Crane Kick for maximum damage or should we stick to the, the Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick, Rising Sun Kick rotation? It used to be you at four plus targets, you get more damage out of spinning Crane Kick uh, than doing your Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, Tiger Palm rotation. However, since they've buffed all three of those spells pretty heavily, so 20% Rising Sun Kick buff, 15% Blackout Kick buff, and a 50% Tiger Palm buff, you actually get more damage out of uh, spinning crank kicking at a five or more damage cap. So now if you're fighting five enemies, you want to spinning crank kick if you're just trying to optimize damage. If you're fighting four or less enemies, you do get more damage out of blackout kick, tiger palm, rising sun kick. And then this change is actually pretty major. So ancient teachings is what allows our tiger palms to stack up our next blackout kick. Now it stacks up four times, which this is not only a, a bonus in, in the amount of damage our blackout kicks can do, or just, it's not just a buff in that sense. It also is such a quality of life improvement because as long as you're on your Fey line, those Tiger Palms hit twice. And if you press Tiger Palm, if you press Tiger Palm twice on your Fey line, you only get three stacks. So that second Tiger Palm loses half of its efficiency. So nowadays it stacks up to four times. It makes sense. You don't lose value from pressing black or tiger palm twice you actually gain value so if you press tiger palm blackout kick tiger palm blackout kick that used to be more optimal but nowadays it's less optimal than pressing tiger palm tiger palm blackout kick tiger palm tiger palm blackout kick so uh all in all this change is huge because it just it's just a buff and a quality of life thing so just good change there they are also changing our current tier set, our 10.1.7 tier set, or our 10.1 uh, two-piece tier set, because they don't want us to get mana from it, so we can't go a two-piece uh, tier set from Avarice and a two-piece tier set from this new raid and get the mana bonus plus our Chi Harmony, or yeah, Chi Harmony bonus. They have just changed it, so all in all, pretty sucky. I mean, come on, give us some mana to work with, but that's, I mean, that's only gonna matter in like the first couple of weeks. And then they changed Healing Elixir and Zen Pulse's location. They just swapped them. So it, it feels weird. It feels like there was really no point at all. However, it does mean that you can go, you don't have to take a useless talent like Uplifted Spirits and Mythic Plus. You can take the tanky thing, which is now Healing Elixir, which is right here. You can now take Healing Elixir and then come down to your, your Chi G. And then um, if you want Zen Pulse, it now exists right here. You take Zen Pulse and then Echoing Reverberation and then move down here in that way. So it does kind of free up this little three point choke hold right here that you have on your Chi-Gi between Chi-Gi and Revival. So that is nice, but other than that, it's not like a huge change. And then finally they fixed an issue that apparently has been in the game for a long time that caused your Tier of the Morning and Thunder Focus T's Enveloping Mist effect to not be properly increased by 25%. So if you Thunder Focus T'd an Enveloping Mist you used, and you had Tier of Morning active or as a talent, it used to just not bonus heal from Tier of Morning, but now it does. So just a quality of life thing. And then also this actually does 
change the numbers that Tier of Mourning can do in a raid environment, which we've been hearing talks of a Tier of Mourning uh, build being better because of all the buffs to our spot healing, because of the changes in how uh, Vivify cleaves now with Invigorating Mist being kind of soft capped in a raid environment. Sometimes you just don't want to push up to 15 Renewing Mist. There are instances where you want to stay at five or less so you can really chunk like five people that have a raid debuff, for example. So all in all, Tier of Mourning has seen a bit more viability, but still it's only certain fight specific. But um, this change does have more implications it's just on a talent that we weren't taking we still kind of aren't taking so it's hard to know just how much better tier of morning is because of this little quality of life fix and even then how often do you thunder focus the enveloping mist in a raid environment this is basically only an interaction that you press during a caster key in mythic plus so there you have it i try to make it as quick and just a quick simple rundown as as fast as i could special shout out to my patreons and also a special shout out to all the new mist weaver monks i know that the a lot of you guys have swapped recently so this video probably wasn't for you because you had to know what it was like you know in season two before you could even see the changes in season three but all in all all these changes are a huge double thumbs up from me the tankiness is insane the added spot healing is insane the bonus damage is insane and then also kind of closing that gap in the raid build kind of is just more friendly to ev the whole player base as a whole so um all in all huge double thumbs up from me but once again huge shout out to the patreon uh, or patrons I don't even know what I'm supposed to say but huge, huge shout out if you see your name on the screen right now I really appreciate all the support that you guys give to this channel and if you want to see your name on the screen alongside these guys then check out the link down in the description below or consider joining this channel apparently now I, I, I have the membership bonus to YouTube now so check that out as well but also just comment what your favorite change is what you're excited about most uh, for 10.2 Mistweaver and like this video if you like this just hopefully it was a quick rundown and guys I'll see you guys in the next video I'm currently on vacation right now so these are pre-recorded so if they slightly tweak one of these numbers in the in the week you know between me leaving for vacation and 10.2 coming out I, I'm so sorry <laughs> I can't predict these things but this as of now is the finalized notes um, guys I'll see you in the next video my name is LB Ninja 7 thank you so much for clicking on this video and showing me so much support lately I'll see you in the next one until then take care